Hello and welcome to episode 22 of the Ego James podcast. It is a nice time to be alive. Um, Strange, but nice. Since I feel like for us introverted type of people or extroverted type of people, I think we found a way to have that middle ground that we have not been able to kind of reach. But, But here we are. Um, either way, I just wanted to bring up some of the later notions of being able to travel, but not being able to travel at the same exact time, because if you don't have a certain card, you don't have certain credentials, you're going to have a bad time um, due to certain uncircumstances. I can't even talk. Oh, can't even talk right now. But I'm, ro- I'm rolling with the punches, because I feel like I'm in this post-holiday limbo, the limbo of between Christmas and New Year's Eve. And if you celebrate any other any other holidays, like Kwanzaa, I don't know how that one really works out. I think it's the day after Christmas. Or if you celebrate Hanukkah. Either way, I just feel like everybody's kind of in a post holiday limbo. And that that might go for three days after um what is it, New Year's Eve? It's like people say they don't really go back to work until January 3rd, and if that's the case, if they don't, if they do, um, I know a lot of people, especially in the town where I reside in, that we have, you know, people who want to work holidays, I know, I know people who would rather work Christmas than spend family time Christmas, or be New Year's Eve working whatever event they are, usually those are bartenders, and those are people who are working party events, um, but either way, I mean, that's just the lifestyle, you know what else is a lifestyle? coming on here and running out of breath because I didn't get enough water and you feel like you have this itch in your throat. There's always this itch in my throat, you know. I'm 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 liking to get this out. It it's it's crazy to say that I'm doing it live, but not doing it live anymore because I do not want to pay the arm and a leg for Twitch internet service, you know. That that's that mon- monopolization. That's that capitalism talking. That's that bullshit, bro. And, you know, I I spent, like, my whole day today pretty much gathering my thoughts on how I'm going to bring back the podcast and how we're going to do the podcast. And, on top of it, making a PSA that I kind of left, I left the outtake in there, just to kind of give it that little um, comedy, comedy relief. I, I, you know, I can't really take this seriously, you know. You know, if you know me personally, you don't know me, you're going to get to know me. Uh, I don't take anything seriously. If the more shit I take seriously, the more stressed out I am. So maybe that's just the co- coping mechanism. But either way, uh, for my first topic, I mean, personally, I feel like I'm the only guy who can't avoid spoilers for movies like Spider Man. I can't. I can't. You can't avoid it. Like, th- there's a jackass who just puts in, like, if you, if you're gonna post spoilers, I get it. You you want to post your little phone camera you didn't want to enjoy the movie yourself you couldn't just sit there no you just had you had to pull up the phone as cracked as mine is right here yeah ooh, this guy's in it oh to toby you know i just i just threw a spoiler out there because i got fucking spoiled but by the time this reaches your ears uh, you've probably already seen it but my my main gripe is especially when you're doing it on the on the phone TikTok is even uh, a big culprit of this. Is I'm I'm catching myself, you know, getting more and more intrigued. It's like you know what I'm I'm gonna have forever this memory of this bootlegged image of the movie instead of the actual movie. And then on top of that, that's how it's always been. Like uh, somebody spoiled Endgame for me to where Captain America, like messing with the. <laughs> Like Captain America picking up Thor's hammer. Like that got spoiled for me. I saw it on my phone. The guy sent it to me in a message. You know one of those messages you open on Instagram and then it already pops up. You're like, oh, fuck. Great. How am, how am I supposed to enjoy this? And, and I think to myself, you know, I shouldn't take it so harshly. Uh, you know, I'm an adult. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm an adult. You know, I should figure and deduce what's going to happen in a movie. If I don't know what's going to happen in a movie, I think have I not watched enough movies already, you know, I think I think that's a, a huge, huge problem. Is taking spoilers too personal? I guess it's more or less 
people are so used to this uh, instant gratification and they really don't give a shit. Like, I don't know, giving away details. And I mean, it's, it's been back to back with these huge blockbusters, I would say. You know what? At least theaters are coming back. At least these are the things that keep movie theaters alive. Um, I would like movie theaters to stay around for as long as they can. I, I think going to the movies is an experience, whether you are not a fan of it or a fan of it. I, it's um, it's like a form. It's not. We don't get all dressed up to do it, unless you're going on a date night and you, you get dressed up to go to the movies. But you you plan to go to a nice restaurant and other stuff like that. But I mean, you know, don't I I I I just hope the theaters stay alive. Even though, even though I know their food is expensive, they have to pay for it. You're paying six dollars for would it be a, a, a twenty-two ounce drink? Uh, I, you know, I might be exaggerating, but in this America today with this inflation, I don't think I am. 